Hello, welcome to Training at 45. I'm Mike, and today we're looking at the power rack and five exercises that you might not be doing right now that could get you a lot more out of your power rack. Let's go. So, for anyone who's got a home gym or thinking of putting one together, the power rack's probably on your wish list of things that you want to have. Actually, if you look around, you can get one used but not that much money, because a lot of people haven't got the space for them. This one's really served me well and didn't cost me a lot at all, and it holds a lot of weight and it's very stable. So the power rack gives us freedom to train alone, knowing that these spotters are gonna catch the bar should something go wrong. So a lot of people will use the power rack just for squats and bench presses, but there's so many more things you can use it for. It's very, very versatile. So by attaching a couple of thick bars to the pins, we can do dips on the rack. Of course, there's gonna be the risk of them wobbling around, but we can easily make a wooden plate that locks them in place and dip away. I think dips are a great exercise if you can tolerate them. And with this version, with the power rack, you can adjust the width of the bars really easily and the height of how far you're gonna dip down just by how high you put your rack. Gotta be good. Okay, our next exercise is the trap bar press. A bit awkward to get the trap bar in position. This offers a unique way of pressing. So with the trap bar, we can press with a neutral grip. And add as much weight as we want. And not have to worry about getting a bar around our neck. Try out the trap bar press, it's awesome. You could set the pins higher, so you overload just the top of the movement. If you're feeling strong, you could even do a trap bar bench. Next exercise is the seal row. Here's a setup for the seal row. I'm going to put a board across the uprights. Have our weight on the floor and something comfy just to lie on. This allows us to stretch and row to the board without putting any strain on the lower back and eliminates ability to cheat in the row. As a bonus tip, we can do curls. This is a great one to drive the back and eliminate cheating. Because we don't want to cheat, do we? This next one, we need a dipping belt. Here's a setup for the belt squat. We have our counterweight and our bar with our weight. We're gonna hook the dipping belt in and squat. Brilliant exercise and we're getting a lot of benefit from this. It doesn't put much strain at all on the lower back and allows you to just drive the legs hard. Give it a try. Okay, for this next one, we made some covers for the back of the rack so they just protect it. Just been made out of some conduit and they just click on and line up with the pins. Okay, we have our axle bar, block of wood, 
and some sort of board that's comfortable to lie on. And of course that very important safety feature, some rope to hold it all together. Okay, that's nice and secure. And now we have a very own leg press. I like this exercise because you can easily control the angle, the range of motion and also if you're in balance from one side to the other the bar is obviously going to tilt down whereas a machine won't necessarily show you that. There you go, five unique ways that you can use the power rack for even more gains. Remember safety first folks, think safe train safe. Try these five power rack ideas. Yeah. Keep training. 45.